Using drivers is a really efficient way to control any property in Blender using mathematical expressions. Let me show you how we can use this powerful tool to create something that looks simple but has a little bit of magic under the surface. So let's make a cube, shift A to make a cube. I want to twist this cube. So let's go to modify properties, add modifier, simple deform. Set it to Z axis and let's move it on the Z axis by a value of one. So G, Z and then one. If you twist this now, it's like sliding around. So you can right click and set origin to 3D cursor. So now this twists beautifully. Here's what we have done. We have made a cube and we have given it a subdivision surface modifier. We have given it a simple deform modifier set to twist and this axis is Z and then a simple uh, deform modifier set to bend and on the x-axis and then another subdivision surface at the bottom to just make things a little bit smoother. Now you can take the bend modifier and you can move it up and down and you can take the twist modifier and it will go sideways. So this almost looks like this is looking around and we can use drivers to easily control this. So let's reset this to zero and zero. Shift A and let's make an empty object and let's press F2 and call this driver controller. We want to work with like whole values. So I want to place this two meters on the Y axis and then two meters on the Z axis. I want to use drivers to twist this cube based on the position of this empty object. So let's right click on this line and go vertical split and let's set this to drivers. So now what you want to do is you want to take the cube under angle here, you can right click, add driver. And there's a little menu here that just shows up, but it just goes away if you move your cursor away and you can keep on editing this driver here, but it's also just as easy to just click on the driver and then click on this little keyframe sort of thing. And then when you press N and bring up this panel, then you can press the driver. It's not a keyframe, it's um, it's sort of like a link, which is really cool. In the driver property, let's go to object and let's place this on the driver controller. You can see this is mapped to the X location. So now if you select the driver controller and press G and then X, this will rotate because you know it's quite conveniently used on the x-axis by default. I would like to have it a little bit geared down. It's too uh, strong, you know? Select the cube and then this is the expression. The amount of distance this moves on the x-axis is called var, like variable. And then the expression is variable plus zero. So you can get rid of that if you want to. And then you can just multiply it by 0 0.5. So now when you move it, it will move half the speed, which I think is a little bit better. Now we want to link the bend to the um, Z axis. So let's do the same thing. Let's right click on the simple deform modifier, add driver. Now let's set object. Let's take the little eyedropper data block and let's place it on the driver controller. Now you can select this empty and you can also move it on the Z axis or I mean on the X axis, but we want this to be on the Z axis instead. So select the cube and change the type from X location to Z location. So now this goes crazy, but that's because this starts at two meters. So let's set the uh, variable to variable plus two. No, that's minus two, I think. Yeah, perfect. So now we can move this up and down and we can move it sideways. Now we can move this and our cube is looking around and it's being controlled with drivers and this just plays extremely smoothly. It's an incredibly powerful way to just start animating stuff. That's how you can use drivers to convert motion or rotation or scale or any value from one object to any other value, for example, the angle of the twist in the simple deform modifier.